increasing the contribution this year, uh, along with some tips uh, about how we can all work together uh, to prevent crime and stay safe during this during the show. After that, I'll pass to Mr. Will Rain uh, from the Royal Adelaide Show uh, Management, and he'll so he speak to about certain issues. And then uh, after that, um, he'll give you the opportunity to ask uh, both of us questions. To start with, uh, we're expecting a crowd of about half a million people this year for the show. And as a result, Safehold will again provide uh, uh, support for the show. We'll be providing uh, uniform and plain clothes officers, uh, officers on uh, uh, police motorcycles, uh, police dogs, horses, bicycle patrols, and members from the uh, public transport safety section uh, to help monitor the crowd uh, behaviour during the show. Uh, this year there will be uh, three main focuses for the show. The first one will be uh, res about responding to missing persons. Last year we had 68 missing persons that uh, the police had to uh, reunite with their parents and parents. And that was actually an increase over the last five years, so that's a considerable number of the uh, period of the show. Uh, this year we anticipate the problem will be the same, that there's some preventative measures that uh, parents and carers can put in place to ensure that uh, children don't go missing in the first place. And then just have a discussion with the children about staying within their line of sight during the show so they don't go missing in the first place. Should they go missing, I suggest that parents and carers have a discussion with the children prior to entering the showgrounds about uh, having a, an agreed oh. meeting place within the showgrounds. Well, it's, I'm just recording the audio through the video. Uh, not just straight audio. I just need the voice. Yeah, okay. The uh, yeah. place is the police uh, station under the rear of the grandstand. So the idea is to write um, the parent or carer's uh, mobile phone number on the, uh, on the wristband and write to the children's wrist. Uh, do not put the children's name on the, on the wristband because that potentially could create a risk for children. Uh, the other thing uh, we found is helpful is if um, children do go missing, um, to be placed to be provided with a photograph of, uh, of the child, missing child. Um, so I suggest that uh, before we enter the showgrounds, parents or carers could take a photograph of their children, um, which will indicate to us what sort of clothing they're also wearing, and will help us reunite so parents and carers with their children uh, as quick as we possibly can. Because obviously with uh, children missing within the showgrounds, it's uh, quite a stressful experience for them, and also it's stressful on their parents and carers. So the second area of focus this, this year is about uh, preventing and then responding to opportunistic uh, theft. So every year we have theft within the showgrounds, um, commonly of um, show, show bags are left unattended, uh, also wallets, purses and mobile phones have been stolen over the years. It's about not leaving those items unattended. And also if you're driving your vehicle to uh, a location near the showgrounds, making sure that there are no visible vehicles left within the, uh, the vehicle. Because, uh, these are opportunistic uh, in nature and um, if you put something on display there's a good chance that uh, you could lose it. The third focus is on road safety. We've got uh, speed restrictions around the showgrounds, particularly on the main roads. Uh, speed will be reduced down to 25 kilometres um, to ensure the safety of all the road users. I ask that um, motorists abide by the 20 km hour, 25 km hour speed restrictions and also ask that uh, pedestrians um, cross the road safely at appropriate locations and comply with the pedestrian laws. So it's going to be a case that we're going to have a huge increase in vehicle traffic and a huge amount of uh, pedestrians crossing the road. I'm only going to record ours and I just remember it's actually recording to our camera not on the phone. So if you want your mind, yours, very excited maybe just, I'll get that info, yes. Yeah. may not be particularly um, conscious of their safety. So it's up to uh, adults to ensure that uh, children can do the right thing and have a bye bye uh, 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 pedestrian crossings. Uh, other events uh, that will occur this year that involve safe is there's a public display in the Jubilee Pavilion. 
and uh, it's an opportunity for visitors to find out about how to join the South Australia Police if uh, they're interested. Also about reporting crime, cyber crime, and also there's information to provide about road safety. Uh, visitors can also take uh, an opportunity to have their photograph taken on the all-terrain vehicle, uh, which was here last year and was particularly uh, popular with visitors. This year, you have your photo taken. Um, and also, uh, you can have a photo taken near, near the uh, police recruiting van, and there's also a photograph booth set up for that purpose as well. Um, there's also a virtual reality experience provided this year called the Beware What You Share. It's about promoting you know, safe and smarter choices online. So it's something a bit different. Also, uh, every day of the show, uh, the band of the South Australia Police will play at uh, 10.30, 12.30 and 3 p.m. in the afternoon uh, for the whole nine days of the show. There's also, the Rotary, Rotary Club of Unley will announce the 2023 Police Officer of the Year it's about 10.45 a.m. on the 8th of September uh, on the full ride stage. Um, one other thing I just want to remind people about, uh, you may not be aware, but uh, a number of show tickets were stolen from a supermarket in the southern suburbs. So there are uh, stolen tickets that haven't been recovered by police that are in the community. Uh, so if you become aware of any uh, stolen tickets, um, I suggest you uh, contact the police straight away and report them. Also, uh, suggest that you don't buy any tickets other than from a uh, sales location. So uh, I think it's just wish everyone a safe and enjoyable show experience of this year. And I'll now hand over to Mr. Mulray, CEO of the Royal Agricultural and Horticultural Society of South Australia.